സ്മാളസ്റ്റ് വിൻഡോ കണ്ടെയ്നിങ് സീറോ വൺ ആൻഡ് ടു ഓക്കെ സൊ വി ആർ ഗിവൺ എ സ്ട്രിങ് എസ് കൺസിസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഓഫ് ദ ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സ് സീറോ വൺ ആൻഡ് ടു യുവർ ടാസ്ക് ഈസ് ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ദ ലെങ്ത് ഓഫ് ദ സ്മാളസ്റ്റ് സബ് സ്ട്രിങ് ഓഫ് സ്ട്രിങ് എസ് that contain all the three characters 0 1 and 2 if no such substring exist okay so uh, we will be given a string s and that s will only have characters like 0 1 or 2 either uh, we will be containing all 0 1 2 or some characters of 0 1 and 2 okay and we need to find the smallest substring in this uh, given input string s such that that window will be containing 0 1 and 2 it should not be in the same order like 0 1 2 can be 1 0 2 1 2 0 0 2 1 any order but that window the smallest window uh, must contain 0 1 and 2 if we are not having such substring we need to return my as one okay so here uh, string s uh, we are having 0 1 2 1 2 so we are having 0 we are having 1 we are having 2 so this is the smallest substring so its length is 3 so that's it so here 1 2 1 2 1 here we are not having zero so we will not be able to find any substring which is containing uh, we, we will not be able to find any window uh, which is containing zero 1 and 2 so we will return minus 1 so what happens uh, the question is like we are given a string s okay some input some input is given and we need to find the substring s dash we need to find uh the smallest window in the string s such that it contains this as the substring it can be 0 1 2 can be 1 2 0 it can be 0 1 2 any any permutation for this 0 1 2 so our problem uh, basically uh, cut down into find the smallest substring which uh, if you are having two string say s1 s2 our problem uh, cuts down into uh, finding the smallest window in this s1 that is containing s2 as the substring here our s2 is all the permutations of 0 1 and 2 so this is our problem so this is uh, some kind of a common problem uh, uh, finding the smallest window containing a particular substring so the approach uh, that we can use is like our substring is already uh, we have known it will be having a single occurrence of 0 it will be having a single occurrence of 1 it will be having a single occurrence of 2 so we can have a hash map okay we can uh, make use of a hash map since there is only three characters even if you use make use of hash map the space complexity will still be uh like big o of 3 which we can say as big o of 1 so uh here uh, we can make use of an hash map uh, which will be storing uh, the count like we are having 0 which will be having a count 1 we are having a 1 which is having a 1 and we are having a 2 and its count is 1 So now let's consider our string zero one two one two. Let's consider that string zero one two one two. And initially we are having let's set the result. Let's set the result as some maximum value because we need to find the minimum substring. So let's set it into some maximum value. So at the very end, if we are seeing still the result is seen as maximum value then it is uh, sure that our uh, string is not having any substring or which is no, is not having any window which contains the substring x2 which is the different permutations of 0 1 and 2 so at that case we will be returning minus 1 otherwise we will be returning whatever will be the value at here so we are having 0 1 2 1 2 and we will be making use of two pointers one start pointer one end pointer okay so now we first uh, take uh, we first move the end pointer so we move the end pointer and uh, here uh, we are having say the size of this uh, hash map is 3 so let the size be equal to 3 initially okay 
So at first this is zero. So we take zero. We check inside the hash map whether we are having a zero. We can just uh, check that there is no problem because everything is uh, big of one time complexity. We are having a zero. So for the current scenario, we are just updating it to this value as zero. We are just updating this value as zero. Okay. Now we just check uh, whether uh, this value, like if map dot get of this zero, that value has become zero. That means uh, that particular character is get removed. So the size will be reduced to two. Okay. Now we move the end pointer. We move the end pointer. We also check whether the size becomes zero. Now we, the size is two. So now we move the end pointer. Now it is at one. We check whether one is present inside the hash map or not. It is present inside the hash map. So for the current case, we just remove it. We removed it. So zero. We got zero. So uh, now the size decreases. So it becomes one. If the uh, particular value becomes zero, that means the size decreases. Now the size is one. Still the size hasn't reached zero. So we now move our E here, end pointer. Now it's two, okay, it's two. And we check whether two is present inside the hash map. Yes, two is present inside the hash map. So we make it zero. So uh, the size decreases because uh, after making it to zero or that means after reducing it by one, uh, the hash map value becomes zero. So the size becomes zero. So now while the size is equal to zero, what we move, what we do means we consider the character which is at the start pointer, where the start pointer is situated. So it's zero. If zero is present inside the hash map, zero is present inside the hash map, but its value, like we, uh, as we move our end pointer, we just change the value. We reduce the value by one. But uh, we check uh, whether the value is present inside the hash map. The value is still present inside the hash map. So that means we now we need to increase the value back to one. So we will be increasing this value back to one. Since we increase the value back to one, that means our size is now one. So since our size is one, Okay, we also um, move our end pointer. Okay, yeah, we also move our end pointer after before uh, uh, checking for size. Okay, uh, so the value becomes one. Now the size is not zero anymore. So what we do means we just check whether right minus length or the end pointer minus the start pointer. So what is the end pointer? It end pointer is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Our end pointer is at 3. Our start pointer is at 0. This is less than the result that we have seen so far. So the result is uh, we initially set it to some higher values. So 3 is definitely less than that value. So what we do? We just update our RS start, uh, end pointer minus start pointer. So this now is three. Perfect. Now we just move our S pointer. Our S is here now. Okay. Now uh, we uh, again start from this uh, end pointer character. One is present. We uh, look here. Yeah, it's still zero. So uh, like this, like we will be continuing and uh, just updating and doing uh, the same every time so that's uh, what uh, we will be doing and this is uh, uh, like a kind of a classic problem finding the smallest window of a particular substring in a string so uh, we can just check if s is equal to equal to null or s dot length is equal to equal to zero or if the length is less than three because our substrings length will be 0, 1, 2, 3. So s dot length is less than 3. That means we will be returning minus 1. Okay. Now, as we told, we will be making use of a hash map. Integer, let's say substring map 
which is equal to new hash map now substring just populating the value we are having 0 of 1 this is for like we have a substring is 0 1 2 like uh, the different um, what you can say the different uh, strings or the, or the strings that can be formed by making use of 0 1 and 2 so substring uh, so all those will be having only single instances of 0 and 1 and 2 so substring map dot put off 1 comma 1 substring map dot put off 2 comma 1 now int counter size is equal to 3 this counter size means the size of the map so here it's uh, already we know that it's 3 okay now let's have our minimum window size that which we are looking for let it be some larger values now we need two pointers one start pointer which is initial at zero and one end pointer which is at zero now we start moving this end pointer let's also store the length uh, of the string variable okay now while end pointer is less than length okay let's take the care current end pointer care is equal to s dot caret of end pointer so now we just check whether uh, this like this is the general way like if this uh, like if this 0 1 2 is some any other kind of uh, substrings say some other kind of substring this is the uh, classic way that we will be going forward like we will be calculating all the uh, frequencies of that substring and we'll be storing inside the hash map and then we will be just going through the uh, other string in which we need to check that particular substring is present uh, or not so that window like where we have to find the window so this is the uh, main the common method that we will be following so uh, we just take and we just look inside the substring map whether this current end pointer care is present or not so if it is present like we will be reducing its count by one so substring map dot put off current end pointer care comma substring map dot get off current let me move to down okay dot get off current end point care minus one whatever be the count it would be one we just reducing it can be one zero anything okay okay uh, so now we just check whether that value becomes zero if substring map dot contains key sorry uh, dot get off current end point care has become zero if that's the case like we will be reducing our counter size okay now we just move the end pointer and we just continue until the counter size is equal to equal to zero so until the counter size is equal to equal to zero we just consider from the start point whatever be the character so current start pointer care which is equal to s dot caret of start pointer if substring map dot contains key of current start pointer care so the earlier like we reduce the counter like this time we will be increasing it so uh, we can just 
I'm just copying it uh, since we are making use of very large naming. Uh, this will be start and this will be start and instead of minus one, it will be plus one. Now uh, we'll be checking if substring map dot get of uh, current start pointer char is greater than zero. That means we have to increase our counter size plus plus. Now we will be just checking if end pointer minus start pointer is less than whatever the uh, minimum window size that we have seen so, seen so far so minimum window size if it is lesser so we have found some other window which is having a better result a better smallest window than the window that we have seen so far so minimum window size is equal to end pointer minus start pointer and after that we just increase our start point now just a final check we have to make sure that our window size is not integer dot max value the maximum value because if we are not having any instance of zero or one or two in our uh, input string like uh, the given string s at that time like we will not be able to find any window that is containing 0 and 1 to 0 1 2 substring so our minimum window size still will be uh, the maximum value so at that time like uh, it's given in the question that we need to return minus 1 so we will be returning minus 1 otherwise we will be returning minimum window size so this is uh, the approach this is the same approach that we need to follow even if the given string if the given the other string is given as some other kind of string like here it's 0 1 2 substring of 0 1 2 what if we were given the substring of some other string say s2 some other string so this is the same method like we have to first uh, note down uh, the frequency of each and every character on the other string uh, the string uh, whose uh, substring like uh, the, uh, the string which we need to find in uh, like the other string s and the window then we will be uh, like this counter size this is exactly like map dot size here we have no the size so just map dot size then we will be uh, like tracking the minimum window size the start pointer in pointer moving the end pointer and the, the all other strings so here since uh, we are only traversing through the string once the time complexity will be big of length of s and here we are making use of extra space but the maximum amount of uh, size that this substring map will hold is three only three so the space complexity will be big of three which is we can say like it's as a constant so big of one space complexity is still big of one and time complexity is big of length of string let's run it yeah we are having uh, some other kind of some gibberish string which contains only uh, 0 1 and 2 uh, that's also correct and we can submit okay so the same method is followed for all the uh, minimum window substring problem